Today's guests in conversation with Marilyn Weston are proud sponsors of From a Woman's Perspective. To reach Marilyn and her guests, visit the program's website, marylands.ca, or call 416-504-6777. Now, Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group, author of Bank on Yourself, Why Every Woman Should Plan to Be Financially Single Even If She's Not, joins us. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Marilyn. What do you have for us today? This week, I was speaking with the adult son of a longtime client, Susan. Susan was divorced a long time ago, and a few years ago started to show the signs of dementia. Shortly thereafter, Susan was no longer able to manage her own finances, and so it fell to her son, Tom, to manage her affairs as power of attorney for property. For a while, Susan was able to stay at home, but like many people with dementia, ended up needing to be moved to long-term care about a year ago. Over the past couple of years, Tom and I have had a lot of time to talk as I've guided him through his role as power of attorney and the many financial decisions that need to be made given his mom's circumstances. Fortunately, over the years, we'd worked with Susan on financial planning and had stress-tested that plan for potential health care costs to make sure that financially she'd be okay. The hardest part of planning for healthcare costs is actually trying to estimate them. I know people who are healthy, active, and in their 90s, but you would swear they're just 70. There are others that develop a health issue at a young age and require care for a long time. The average length of stay in in a long-term care facility is about 18 months, according to the Canadian Institute for Health Info. A U.S. study found that about 20% of the time, a stay lasts more than five years. Interestingly, of those requiring more than five years of care, the vast majority are women. And the cost of those stays. Comfort Life, a Canadian retirement living and care company, reports that in Toronto, the average non-subsidized private memory care home costs about $5,400 per month or $64,800 per year. I can tell you from experience with clients, Susan just being one example, that the costs can be substantially higher than that. As your care needs increase, so do the costs. Given the high cost, and the uncertainty about how long a time frame to plan costs for, how do we stress test a retirement plan? First of all, it starts with understanding a client's circumstances and preferences. Income. If we're planning for a level of spending in retirement that is higher than the cost of care, we have a good indication that a client can afford it, given they won't be spending money in other ways. But what if a situation is that of a couple? What if one requires care and one is healthy and will have a lifestyle that they still need to maintain? We discuss things like, if we were sitting here today and one of you required care, would the other still be living where you're living? Or would the house be too much for one person to to maintain? How do you feel about using your home value as a backup plan? Based on our conversation about care perspectives, family experiences and preferences, we develop a reasonable stress test scenario to model into a plan. With those results, if needed, we have conversations about backup plans, just in case. Are there other assets that could be used? Do we need to look at long-term care insurance coverage? We want to plan for people to live a happy, healthy, active life to at least 95. But we want to be smart about the what ifs as well. And a major what if for Canadians as they retire is, what if I require care? But we definitely can control what we do with what life does bring us. So having the stress test and getting a retirement plan in place and a care plan makes sense because then there are no surprises or very few. If someone wants to talk to you about the planning for long-term care in their future, if it's necessary, how do we reach you? You can give us a call at 416-863-7501. 416 863 
1-800-227-7501. Leslie McCormick, Darren Farwell, The Farwell Group. You can prepare for the future no matter what life brings you, and you can feel comfortable having taken control of what you can. Leslie, thank you. That was very informative, and I guess it's important that we think ahead, even if it isn't on our doorstep at the moment. It is. Again, we want to plan happy, healthy, active to at least 95, but we want to be smart about the what ifs just in case. Good wisdom, and I look forward to hearing more from you next time we speak. I look forward to speaking with you, too. Bye, Liz.